number one. It's a three and a two, so one, two, three, four, five. A book, girl, boy, people, person, son, daughter, man, woman, sister, queen, lord, lady. Okay. So I'm gonna go with the boy on the bridge, which is the second book from the girl with all the gifts. And that was roll number one. This is, oh, it's ten. So that means I gotta roll again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Red, green. Oh, it's a bunch of different colors. So let's see. Okay. So I'm going to read Little Red Lies by Julie Johnston. So for a color. Alright. Let's see. One, two, to do five so far, and then two extras so far, maybe more. And this is a two and a six, so one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, opulent. So let's see. Opulent. These are the red ones. Opulent. Read a book with opulent vibes. Examples below. A book with flooring on the cover. A book set in a palace, royal court, or the royalty as a main character. A book with rich main characters. Alright, I'm going to go with... This one will work. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to read The Queen's Secret, uh, The Queen's Secret, a novel of the Tudor Court. Next roll. Oh, doubles again. One, two. Night, day, afternoon, dawn, twinkling, evening, midnight, noon. So... This is, read a book with a time of day in the title. All variations of night and day count, etc. The word Sunday has day in it. The one a little more specific, so I so include the word dark and light and all the variations of darkness. So, oh, I messed this up, so I have to do two extra rolls. Okay, let's see, what do I have? So it'll be today, tonight, tomorrow. And that's another rule here. Last regular seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. People of color represented. Oh my God, it's a little big. It was right here. Gray Bearer by Jordan. I'll read this one. Right, so the regular rolls are done. So now I'm just doing my extra rolls. Two of those. So that is three. One, two, three. V of and and am. So read a book that has those in the title. Oh, okay. <coughs> The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Okay, and then last roll. Okay. 
and that is a four and a two. So one, two, three, four, one, two. Lowest rated book on my Goodreads. Okay, let me go check that. One second. And the lowest rated book on my Goodreads is Bellamy and Black which I love the 13 tales, so I'm really curious to know why this is the lowest. So these are the books that I'm going to be reading for Becca's Bookophily. Okay, and then my next readathon I am doing for the month of September is a magical readathon. Let's see. This magical readathon is just starting, so we have to. It's the novice. Um, path and we're trying to get to the middle and we only have to do two of the things that are in here so I am going to do the Mist of Solidarity which is read a standalone book and the book I have chosen is Why Gary Why this is actually written um it's a true story and it is a standalone and i'm also going to do the arcalumi academy arc which is a book in a school setting and i'm going to be doing Bookish Boyfriend Talk Nerdy to Me. This is the third, yeah, this is the third book in the Bookish Boyfriend series. And then I wanted to get started on my character. So, my character, I'm going to do, he's from, um, his providence is, is Dark Needed, which reads a dark, which is to read a dark academia. So that will be the school of fear. And then a, I'm a dwarf. My heritage is a dwarf. So read a science fiction book, which luckily this one will cover both the hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy. And then, oh, what else was there? Is there something else? I'm missing it. Hold on. So many books written down. And what else? Hmm. Now the, the, uh, Affinities for the dwarves are alchemy, insurrection, and art artistry. So I went to look up those prompts. I think I did. So much going on. In a second. I think that's all I have to do for now on this one. Yeah, that's all I have to do for now. So, oh wait, I needed one more. What was it? Oh, whether. So oh, the background, Wildling, which is read a book in large, so set in a forest or outside, or a book set in a city or a town. 
don't have one of those right now. So I'll have to wait on that one. And then of course there is completely mayonnaise year long readathon. Also, and it's fruit or veggies on the cover, and land on the cover. So let me see if I can find those. Okay, so it's fruit or veggies on the cover. So that would be this one. There's a pumpkin on the cover. And, that's a, and then the other one is land on the cover, which there is land for this one. So for the month of September. Hopefully I can do it, but we shall see. Bye everyone.